24 hours of racing test the limits of man and machine. The SRT Motorsports team met that challenge head-on at the Rolex 24 hours at Daytona, with the number 91 Viper GTSR claiming a third-place finish in the GT Le Mans category. The other team car, the number 93 Viper, placed sixth in the class. And the customer-purchased GT3 R Viper, campaigned by Viper retailer Ben Keating, finished 19th in the GT Daytona class. The racing Vipers were strong right off the trailer, with driver Mark Goosens putting the number 91 car on the pole for the GT Le Mans class, and the number 93 car starting third in the class. Bill Riley and his group of people have worked so hard in giving us a car with a bigger comfort zone that is easier to drive and more you know it gives us more possibilities handling wise to go through traffic because we shouldn't forget there's going to be 67 cars uh, starting on a short track like this one. The race marked the launch of the two-door United Sports Car Championship Series which combined the previous Grand Am and American Le Mans race series and it marked the Vipers return to Daytona after 14 years. That Viper, looking just as it did when it won the race in 2000, returned to Daytona this year on display in the SRT compound. I mean, the, the fact that Viper's back, it's a big deal. You know, everyone's uh, really happy to see us. Viper Nation's turned out. We've got a lot of visitors from uh, southeast Florida that come out to see the car race. It's a big deal to be back at Daytona. And I think it's a big deal to wave the, the flag for America, but also for Chrysler Corp. The first several hours of the race were encouraging, with both Vipers working their way into the overall top ten and staying out of trouble. And, you know, there's no, there's no secret behind it. It just shows that since the last race, last year, in 2013 in October, the cars and the team have never stopped evolving. So right away in November last year, the cars were pretty much back on a drawing board in preparation for this long race. But the team's metal was tested as midnight approached. Repairs moved the Vipers back in the field, but the cars continued to charge through the night and the return of daylight. As competing cars battled problems, the Vipers climbed in the standings. And when the clock reached 2 p.m., the number 91 Viper GTSR had a podium finish after running 675 laps and 2,403 miles around the 3.5 mile course. It was a strong showing for the SRT Motorsports Racing Vipers to start the 12 race season. Drivers and crew will be ready to get back on the track in mid-March at the 12 hours of Sebring. For Chrysler Digital Media, I'm Dale Jewett.